Good morning, good morning all. Welcome to The Breakfast Show. I'm your host, Martin Wong. And today, it is Friday, the 7th of May. And in our trading idea with Smart Robbie, we definitely have something for you. That's right. And some of the trade ideas that we had last week, of course, one of them did move, another one sort of stuck in there. We will be looking at that when we come to the lesson learned for trade idea definitely on the premium alert now as such that today also marks the uh, Kuala Lumpur Wilaya Persekutuan also going to MCO 3.0 uh, not forgetting slang or two but the other states seems to be very good uh, somehow the MCO has 3.0 in these two states uh, of course the Wilaya and Slango seems to be dragging down the market right now let's take a look what we have for you in our breakfast show of course this morning in here we'll be looking at the top fans giveaway now don't forget to become our top fans uh, this promotion is still on to april and july do share this uh, post or this and also like all our posts and able to uh, claim your 300 credit point for your smart roby now that's right let's move on to what we have and today is definitely friday we'll be looking at the premium alerts on the advanced level in here probably looking at the hourly chart in every safe all month now in our business headline that we have for you in our morning headline roundup in here today definitely is the interest rate now a lot of talk being about interest rate in economies and that is uh the so-called big taker for our klci market then we all know the banking uh stocks sector is one of the biggest com uh, component of the klci so able to hold on to this at 1.75 that should normally normalize our interest rate so let's take a look at what we have for you this morning and if you look at the KLCI market switching to a wider chart here we do have a big spring uh, no doubt we have you can see and let me just bring this up again here no doubt we have the red pentagon on the right hand side that tells you the market it's not going to go higher likely to move from a sideways but we do have a spring here that tells you it is still well supported at 1570 all right 1570 and this market is right going to range bound you know uh, there are mixed signal from the economic report at one point we have the uncertainty hinging on the mco 3.0 at the same time, right now, we also have uh, some good uh, statistics coming up from the manufacturing index. We will take a look at some of those headlines too. But right now, as the market that we see here on front here, we have our market up six points. That's right, up six points. And also due to, if you look at the most active one, KTG, but the big gainers, again, on the right-hand side, seems to be the uh, rubber glove players. Hat, uh, Avanta, Hatta in there going up. Uh, Avanta up 13% and Hatta Lega up 2% here. Big decliner are the uh, value stock, as you can see. Henneken and Kausper just are down 0.4%. But chart-wise, I already explained to you in here, seems to be going up in the down uh, sideways market. All right, let's move on to our news headline now our next next news headline is definitely on our gdp which we talk about the mco very very slow vaccination i hope that many of you have a chance especially those living in kuala lumpur and also kl have a chance to register for the astrazeneca despite of the risk that is involved especially those of you who are below 50 years old if not you may have to wait for the the normal national vaccination uh, program that which start actually from may up to next year february but some good news has come in i think this morning we came across it uh on the side of more vaccine coming in there and this will uh, in terms of uh, the pfizer and also the uh the sinovac many of our malaysians uh brother and sister will also begin but on this news if you look from here uh it does saying that there is a lot of incentive in going out uh or to ensure that there's enough consumption, EPF handout, withdrawal, cash handout, and all these things. But the MCO, the lockdown, uh, which affect mainly on the social economic as well as the dining in restaurant is taking a hit. Uh, and uh, the continue of banning interstate travel that also uh, slow down a lot of the travel industry, the banking sector, sorry, the hotel sectors would definitely uh, not benefit from it here. All right, let's move on now. Next headline, again, something very positive in 
our is our IPI uh, surge. 9.3% for March 2021 and that was the higher since July 13 here you can see the chart let me just switch to uh chart here you can see the market is hovering in here and straight up to 9.3 and then 7.4 so remember we had a great recovery from April and May and that seems to be where we see the big market run uh will this thing go higher again we have to look at the chart up here just above me the 1620 so they all sort of tell a very very similar story right uh the ipi you know needs to move higher at the same time the chart but i do believe what you see on the chart just above me here is definitely is the leading indicator as we've seen before but uh right now also those of you who have the foreign fund flows those of you have who have our package in here definitely one way to get hold of our plug-in package is to have the uh combo our, our raya combo there two for the price of one in here very good deal and you're able to get some of our statistic that i talk about the uh foreign fund and also our uh, entire year support from our coaches and if you look from in here the growth of the manufacturing sectors are high capacity utilization in here so that seems to be run, running but remember all this news that you've seen here is already been priced into the stock that you see above in here we need to have something that we have not seen and remember the stock Stock market, which is the one just above me, tend to move faster than the economic news that you see on the right hand side. And that's really the reality of, of the market. And I've been saying time and time again, this is what's that really important. And for those of you who are first time to our show, thank you very much. Uh, just type one if you're first time to our breakfast show in here. I hope you enjoy uh, this show that we have for you. And also do share this with your uh, other friends and members in here. And I uh, really appreciate your support so far. Let's move on to our next news. Okay. Now, next news is on Inari. Now, Inari is raising more capital. It is but uh, it uh, inari being uh, a stock that is fundamentally uh, sound but it's not cheap having said that let's look at the stock fundamentals switching to a wider chart here and you can see stock fundamental in here you can see uh it is a p of 47 times and the average sector is about 147 so everything on the tech sectors uh, seems to be in very very expensive mode in here it has a good roe 17 which is above the sector and do does pay a one percent dividend if you can see from here current price is 326 in here because of the high pe it does need to you know get along that uh to that line so that's why it is considered as a growth stock and not as undervalued stock having said that the story goes around the need uh the race capital this is this company is net cash if i'm not mistaken in here have very little debt but they are expanding in here into a seven and this is the first time they are trying to raise one billion ringgit that's a lot of money through pl pl uh, private placement in here and uh the indicative price is at 320 so that is no surprise why this kind of uh, what we call private placement usually is uh dilution all right a dilution that means that's what you see the stock price actually been pricing early on if you look from a stock chart in here uh you have known okay let's just wait for for the stock chart to come in right uh this is what we've seen so far okay and that's a 320 there okay we'll wait for this to uh, to come back in here any link to register charlie the link is below here you can see oh uh, okay let me just give you a link for that one okay oh there you go oh okay i run out of credit <laughs> that seems to be an error in here we will look at this uh shortly okay mm, let me give you a link for our uh, yes that's right there is a missing link here okay Looks like right? I need to re-lock re in. And, uh, let me try something else again. It was working just now. Yeah, now it's back. And we have the uh, stock chart and stock comment. Okay. There's something very uh, not right about Smart Robin. But let's look at the, uh, the chart that we have this morning here. Okay, we're going to bring in the Inari chart. I'm going to show you here. Let's make this a bit smaller.
So you can see from here, Inari chart uh, seems to be holding up at 320. It did try to hit around 350. I think this price about the private placement has come in and definitely that's what we see uh, the markets coming down a bit more. Okay, now what we're going to do is going to try something here. Let me just see where that KLCI. Okay. So let me just lock off and try to re-lock in again. And usually I get this. All right. So I will give a link to here. Okay. Now let me just get a link. Okay, let me just get this first. Okay, now I'm, I got the link for you. And uh, okay, that, there you go. That's the link here. Those of you who wanted, this would be the link to join us. This to join us for our Zoom meeting. Okay, so let me just get that out of the way. Okay, so you can see the, in, let's try this again one more time on the market and I see whether they have that. Okay, now it's back and let's go to Inari. So sometimes I do get this Okay, it looks like to be the same problem too this morning in here. I'm getting, all right. Well, we will check on that one, something we will highlight to our technical team, right? Why I have this issue in here. But never mind, let's move on to our next news that we have. We we'll definitely be looking back into Smart Roby as we go on. All right, let's go on to our next news that we have. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's back now, okay. So this morning could be uh, up to the uh, back end that we have an upgrade. Now let's look at MYEG right now. And uh, MYEG does uh, win a small project here, as you can see. Uh, so let's look at the stock chart and stock comment in here. So you can see right now, uh, it does have a PE of 26 uh, compared to 147 being the tech stocks in here. It's a small project they are winning from Mimos, but it has turned red pentagon in here. Uh, let me just switch on to the stock fundamental. Okay, and stock chart, and you can see uh, it was very nice actually the chart. Uh, let me just switch to a wider chart for you here. We were looking for the support at 195 for that breakout. You have a lot of cluster closes, but instead of breaking, breaking up, it actually broke down uh, on, on the back of uh, the overall market going down further. Uh, now on this uh, project that they won, which is a very small amount, about 40, uh, 400,000 in here, markets breaking up in here, but usually the old high, the one, two ringgit, will be that resistant. Let's look at the stock price this morning here, and you can see it's just up for uh, half a percent uh, responding to this. All right, not uh, a very good thing, of course, uh, right now that we see. Uh, yes, there are, but we will be looking at uh, some other uh, stocks today will give us some sort of potential, okay? All right, those of you who want to join, I, I updated the link there so you can see that link and you're able to join us on our Zoom, okay? So that's uh, great. And uh, let's move on to our next news that we have, all right? So next news that we have is, right, definitely is the Supermax. Now we had a big drop Supermax yesterday. It's maybe partly anticipation of this news that we see. Let's take a look at Supermax, right? And that has dragged down. Uh, a lot of the uh, ru uh, rubber sectors in here. 
Let's look at the chart wise, switching wider in here. So you can see the rubber glove has a red pending on the day before, before the big drop that we've seen, almost 10, 12%. And on the lower average selling pie, ASP. So, but overall, that's right. Um, the going forward, what is trying to say this? Going forward, a lot of rubber glove stocks, the growth will stop for the next one or two years because all the high growth already been priced in so there's not much going to be future strong growth so this is a stock which in my opinion will be more of a value which means you need to have a longer than two to three years to trade this kind of stocks but at the same time analyst is putting a buy call because of the lower price that you've seen this morning in here uh around six ringgit sixty cent which is almost it hit six ringgit thirty cent so right now we have dropped more than that let's take a look at this morning the livestock prices it's up 2.7, so 5 ringgit in here because of the too much of the big drop here. Is this a good buy? Then look at the trading plan. If you want to buy back at this one, use the trading plan. Look for a good setup in here. Uh, uh, definitely, you want to avoid many of the bad setup and get caught in this kind of thing. Now, remember, smart money would use good news to distribute this kind of news in here. Okay, so let's uh, move on to next is the May Bout. That's right. Now on May Bout, seems to be logistic has been doing very well. Let's take a look. How do we know that? If you just look at the hot sectors every uh, day, just look at the hot sectors, then you would see on the right hand side here, transportation, the translogic. And if you click on that one, that will take you to a lot of the translogic stocks inside here. You can see uh, the Westport, Airport, MMC, GDAX, Tasco, Freed, all right? So these are some of the stocks in the logistic which have done very well. And this is just a partial list and they get updated in here. But Maybout, having said that, has done pretty well because due to the Baltic Exchange Dry Index and it's up for the first time, uh, highest in 11 years. So that basically telling you a lot of this. Uh, even just look at Tasco, okay, 5164, which is the one that I do like. Right, and you can see uh, it has moved up a lot more. Usually, again, on good news that you see, <laughs> what do do happen? People take profit. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, May bout this morning here. May bout, what is the livestock prices now? Okay, it's uh, down minus 0.6% in here, and maybe it's going through, right? A usual period of profit taking, right? Yesterday, you have a big surge. Right, we have seen Tasco undergoing profit taking here already. And remember, a lot of these stocks tend to undergo profit taking a, a, a fair bit because due to the uh, what we call good news. Okay, so and also notice uh, on the right hand side, you've seen a climatic volume there, a very long volume, very widespread. But generally, those are the sign of uh, profit taking in here. That's definitely something we teach also uh, in our. Uh, uh, workshop this weekend so make sure you join us in our workshop and ensure that you're able to invest and trade with low risk and high return here all right so the let's go on to our u.s market our u.s market in here last night the u.s market up uh, almost by 300 and 18 points to a new record high because some of the value stocks are in. So traditional value stocks, we are looking at oil and gas, uh, the, the travel, the retails, not so much on the tech stock. The tech stocks has fallen a fair bit. And right now, it's off the radar of many of the fund managers. And partly this is because due to the uh, US recovery of the good COVID vaccine rollout. You have seen US rolling out the vaccine, everybody getting shot out. Of course, there are still some resistance. Malaysia got vaccine problem. They're trying to resolve it. And that's where we see our markets not really moving at all. Uh, at the same time, the job numbers, which is the uh, fewer claims for unemployment report, fell to all-time low. You can see way back last year when the pandemic came, uh, we have almost uh, 6 million uh, people uh, were going for for uh, uh, have unclaimed, uh, sorry, what we call unemployment claim, and that has fall less than 1 million right now. Uh, so that seems to be good, and no doubt Dow Jones seems to be going higher. All right, and also going back to our uh, what we call train trader and train investor platform, uh, the idea here is to follow a fixed rules which we have and the Pentagon guided India strategy. And as of 2020, uh, 2020 last year, we have achieved about 106% return on top of a $35,000 trade. And we are pretty sure that this year we will not hit 100%, but we are very close right now uh, with a win rate of 75%, right? Winning almost three out of four trades uh, with a 50 
15% return so far for January to May. And let's see how we will fare off this year uh, with a minus 3% compared to a 3% on KLCI. So we are still outperforming the KLCI right now. And many of this rules and in here, those of you who have joined it for the first time, do come to our uh, uh, our, our workshop this weekend and the QR codes on the right side. And let's look at the leaderboard for our advanced trade idea that we have. Uh, definitely, it's all very short, very, very short term. Usually, we want to hold it about five five bars in here about a week. So you can see some of these stocks like uh, BSL, the longer you hold, which is much better as move up higher. Uh, Amanda, SYF, Tasco, 14% uh, uh, CI holding Haptek. Uh, last week, uh, uh, stock trade idea help tech has gone up by 10% let's look at what we have this morning and if you look at what we have this morning on the premium alert moving up in here and you can see some of these right are the big right 1035 we got nice we got McLean Slanger Pokong Tome and Amnum, which is a different list that I have earlier on. But anyway, it's okay. We're going to be looking back to this one here, right? And uh, right now, we will be looking at the Okay, let me just uh, turn off All right, so you can see uh, the lesson learned. Let's switch on to our lesson learned. Now, lesson learned will definitely be from last week. Now, last week we have uh, Haptic. That's the one that did very well. At the same time, BLSL Corp, uh, a minus 13% in here, okay? Minus 13% uh, uh, for our trade idea last week. Let's take a look at the chart, okay? Okay, let's uh, split this screen into half and you can always do the same thing too. So the first one was uh, Haptic. Okay, Haptic is last week was 30th of uh, March, right? And let's switch to our hourly chart. So you can see that one was we were around here. Let me just pull this down a bit. Okay, I'll turn that off and you can see it better. 30th of March, 30th of March, 30th of March which is somewhere around here, yep. So we were about 10, 11 o'clock. So this is where we were. And you can see the stock pick that we have at that time, or stock trade idea, which is up here. That's about 12% to today. That's how we get the 12% in here. But do take note, the uh, climatic volume uh, that we see was the first bar. And there were some, what we call, we notice in here, okay? is the step down. The step down volume on the hourly chart are lower, so that explains why the market are able to go a bit higher. Then there's a volume came hitting around the uh, 22. As opposed, because we're going to do a comparison, what works for Haptic did not work for BSL Corp here. Now, if you look at BSL Corp, Okay, and BSL Corp, what we had, we, we have an uptrust. Okay, so you can see uptrust on 30th of March. Now, if you look back to a daily chart for this one, we had a 30th of March was here. The uptrust did not come until 4th of May. Now, remember what is uptrust? Those of you who are first time, you should check out our video tutorial, which I'm going to show you after this and know more about sign of strength, sign of weakness in here, or even in our, uh, let's say if you want to know about Haptic, right? You can watch that video too. Okay, Haptic, watch that video. And now all you got to do is just go to stock chart and stock comment here, right? And you can see on the right hand side, click for trade VSL, SOS, SOW, all those videos are in there. But what truly uh, separates between these two was the 30th April. Remember, our show actually started at uh, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. But the end of the day, we have an uptrust. So it's no surprise why the market turned for BSL Corp, but went higher for Haptic because the SOS. Uptrust. Okay, take note of that one too. Okay, uh, next we have is uh, uh, this two trade idea here. Now let's move on to our next segment. So our next segment is right our this week stock trade idea. Now this week stock trade, I picked the two for you: LB Aluminium and Prestar. Let's put them side by side so you can see them too. Okay. And of course, those of you who want to have a, a more active 
charts like the plug-in in here you might want to think about our combo raya a very very good package in here so you can switch it to an hourly chart you can switch it to a, a weekly chart have more flexibility compared to the smart robbie chart that you have uh, which is um, birth here a static chart in here so let's look at the uh, uh lb aluminum okay so lb aluminum this is the chart uh, today is the 7 May, it should straight up and then we're going to switch to an hourly chart here and the market has pulled back, see it looks to be good, alright, that's that's the first trade we're going to and we will come back and study this next week, okay, LB and next one is Pre-Star Resources, also very similar one, market has broken up here, you guys saw a climatic volume, it's important that Pre-Star, this trade to work, it has to maintain the momentum too all right to maintain the momentum we have seen the climatic volume in here and who knows today we might get an up trust and the market will turn up all right if that's why that's why we say uh, for the premium alert these are more for advanced uh, trader and once uh, investor who wants to get in to the uh, faster trade in here if not switch to the pentagon guider or the trending stock depending the level of experience that you have all right so those are the two trade idea that we have for you this morning okay so let's move on to what we have next and next is the uh what we call uh chart conceptual map we saw that one how's those chart look up so if you see on top of me in here for help take on the green pentagon okay let's hit this on the green pentagon right so so what we want to see is the schematic you can see on the green pentagon 25th of march it has the same kind of pattern that you see just above me in here and that's what i want to train all of you who are using volume spread analysis when you see the green pentagon the next day on the opening get in and if you have got in this chart help take right and you can see the pentagon fact help take is at 25.2 percent uh, since the last pentagon all right and so you can get in by just you know following this all right so that's something a thought for today of course those of you who want to know more this is the qr code uh that you can find out more about information about line change test sign of strength sign of weakness in here the same video that you also see that url on top in here something that we have for all of you okay and uh, let's go on to our next trade here uh this is the qr code that we have for all of you who are uh, Coming to our investing basic, we would uh, like to invite all of you, especially if you have friends and colleagues who are first time and wanted to get in to know more about investing basic, both fundamental and technical. This is definitely the workshop we will do tomorrow at 1 to 4 p.m. And, you know, with the lockdown, maybe this is a good time to learn uh, something about investing and also we will touch a bit also on the u.s market in here so do join us tomorrow this is absolutely free you can also share this qr code with your friends in here All right now let's move on uh the next one is just a small promotion that we have our promotion will end uh on the 12th of may so take advantage of this uh, a combo plan uh, for two person 688 a very very great deal this is for our june master intake and you are obliged and you you can entitle to many of our receipt courses many of our private coaching that we have on uh on the special session that we do for you in here for the next 12 months or so something you want to consider and also the plug in here all right and uh, now we'll be looking at some stocks i think many of you have some stocks you you guys want me to look at so we will Okay, switch back to here again. Uh, let's see what we have in here. Uh, we got the, all right, we got the lie in here. Jax, Jax looks certain very, really good, okay? Jax, okay, Jax, yep, you got NS3 in here. This one looks like it's going to pull. I think Jax was one of my earlier stock trade ideas that I talked about here. Jax looks certain good, all right? Uh, because what you want to do is actually have the NS riding all along. Okay, we're going to look at the, f uh, f freight gb now remember all the uh, logistics if you stick to the hot sectors they will do fine uh, freight logistic uh well this is a nice pullback in here that looks pretty good too uh tenko tenko holding electrical one uh, yeah this one what well, this one one thing i don't like about this is just below 10 cent normally don't trade below 10 cent because the volatility it's huge you know it moves 
very big. It can also go against. I think DNO looks also good. Okay, DNO, right? And those of you, DNO has uh, come back in here, pull back, but again, no green pentagon yet, right? And if you, all right, are trading uh, just purely on signal, right? Then you want to wait for the green. But if you have attended our master class and know some of the trades set up in here, definitely there's some way you can do do much better. One of the things I want to show you in here, if you look at DNO, okay? DNO here, right? You can see right now, switching to a daily chart, you can see it hasn't turned, hasn't turned uh, the right signal yet, all right? You just need to wait for this, what we call our VF, volume flow indicator. And again, this is something we'll teach in our uh, June intake for you to get in very early. Right now, DNO looks good, but not a time to buy yet, all right? Because it hit through the ATR stop loss, and that's where you want to be getting out. So right now, we do think that DNO started to move up. So Honga, something you consider about for our combo raya here. Okay, uh, Jax, I think I just explained here to Chris. Okay, uh, Inari. Now again, uh, Richie asking about Inari. Again, whether you're long term or you're short term. Okay, now if you look at this, all right, Inari, it has broken below the ATR stop loss. Okay, let me just switch to this one here, right? It probably will hold at that level in here. Okay, if you're long term investing, again, uh, when you first got in, what strategy? Richie, I always talk about what strategy. Are you using the Pentagon strategy, which we have fixed through? If not, join us this Saturday at 1 to 4 p.m. and try to understand more how we are able to achieve 15% or 15 or 30% profit target, which we did, I think, for uh, what sort was that? We just got it. Yeah, Southern Steel, that's right. And also the earlier one. Uh, important to understand this, okay? If you follow purely on Inari, right? You should have cut, okay? When you break through the ATR, so you should cut it on 5th of May, which is two days ago, all right? I know cutting loss is difficult. That is why we talk about train trader and train investor. Whether have you been coached, whether have you been trained or not. If not, that's something you want to consider. All right, let's move on to uh, what we have on the other side, okay? And uh, let's take a look. Uh, okay, rubber racks to buy on average. I don't think you should buy on rubber racks for Miss May, uh, you see, we always want to do is have enough exposure to a particular stocks, okay? We don't want to silang on one stocks. I think that's very important. What we call diversification there. Okay, we have uh, uh, S-Rich, okay? That's the one of the stock, S-Rich on Jerry. Yeah, this one has... That's, this is where we talk about it, you know, uh, S Silver Rich in here. Big fall, almost limit down, limit down. I think that's something very bad news about this one here. And Red Pentagon already out. This morning, you need to get out, all right, at 67 cents. Uh, but this kind of stocks, you know, if it start to run from 35 cents to $1, sometimes it's always good to, you know, this. these are what we call penny stocks. Take some profit as you go up. And, and you don't want to have something that you run so high and then drop it, and you have overexposure, you get caught in this. I think that's very sad. It's certainly true. Uh, a lot of time when you trade a lot of these so-called, let's look at that. Uh, Silver Ridge, what kind of stocks is it? Okay. Uh, first thing I will check is just check the news. Okay, uh, Silver Hair. Okay, that's uh, Silver. Looks like Smart Robbie went to the wrong place and picked up the uh, Silver Ridge. Okay, so it's not related. We're going to get the Smart Robbie. I'll get my tech guys to retrain Smart Robbie to pick up the right. But let's look at the uh, the fundamentals first. So you can see the fundamental is an it's a loss making stocks. To be frank with you, look at the PE is about fifty nine times in here. Uh, what do they do? Uh? let's check out the silver rich here. Interesting enough. Okay, uh, are they tech stocks? What do they do? Uh? Subsidiary or oh, telecommunication or oh, next generation or oh, telco? Okay, telco tend to be not. Consider as a growth stock, lah. All right, unless they have something of of like utilities in here. All right, so uh, this is usually the the case. You can get waterfall. That's right. All right, so we will stop here today. I think. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for your uh, your audience and your company. Thank you very much. I apologize early on for the smart Robbie not able to communicate to our back end server here. And of course, do share this video in your timeline and uh, and and sign up for our. 
uh, YouTube channel at uh, Trade BSA completely free, so you're able to follow some of this video that we have. And of course, tomorrow will be our investing basics, where we will see you at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Do come in around 12:45. The uh, the Zoom room will be open, and we will be looking at very interesting study, both from the technical and fundamental side for you to upgrade your skills, especially those of you who are first time coming in here. And for our uh, masterclass member, you're welcome to join. Many of the things that we discussed will be very, very basic. Yeah, I think you have learned it, but I'll share a few more things more from the fundamental side. And for you, do join our uh, Telegram chat idea in here and be informed of every good idea and educational tips. Thank you for coming and thank you for your time. Bye-bye.